वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल टॉक अबाउट सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ वॉट एंड हाउ टू कनेक्ट टू एन आई एस पी वॉट इज़ अ डेटा बेस सर्विस प्रोवाइडर डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन इन डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन वॉट इज इन अ डोमेन सर्वर वॉट इज़ इन अ डोमेन नेम हाउ पेजेज आर जनरेटेड वॉट इज़ अ वेब सर्वर वॉट इज़ एन एप्लीकेशन सर्वर वॉट इज़ अ डेटा बेस सर्वर सो ऑल ऑफ दिस विल बी एक्सप्लेन यूजिंग अ डायग्राम ऑल्सो and i hope you will take home many interesting things as per the today's module so let's uh, deep go into the module and start with the module so uh, you can see the list on your screen uh, how do we connect to the internet and connecting to an internet address what is inside a domain and you can see all of this is interesting things what is a web page uh, something very interesting what is a session what is a transaction what is stateless you may have heard these words a number of times so in this module i will explain what these terms are and what is the significance of these terms and how they are related and finally what is a domain server what is a website what is an internet site and where does the isp comes in this whole picture so let's go into more detail so as you can see on your screen over here that we have uh, indirect access and we have direct access so in the indirect access this is you okay and you are going through this router and this router is physically connected to the internet and that physical connection is using over a copper wire pair over a uh, fiber or over a cable tv depending upon what is available in your area so this is the indirect access so this is the direct access you have your smartphone over here and this is directly connected to the internet or you are in your office okay or 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 you are outside your office and this is a public wifi maybe in a bus you are traveling in a bus there's a public wifi and it connects to you to the internet so of course uh, these connection techniques have their own pros and cons they have have their own benefits uh, one of the uh, biggest benefits of indirect access is it's shareable it is sharing so because number of people are using it and you connect it to it it has high bandwidth also this is another big advantage of indirect access direct access is it's on the go so it has its own advantages so you can see that we cannot say whether direct access is useful or indirect access is useful it depends upon the application it depends upon your requirements it depends upon what you want to do where you want to do it and how you want to do it so let's go uh, into the more details over here so inside a domain name server so if you look at it we have this routing tables we have the central registry we have the ip addresses and we have the mirror sites so what are all those things our domain name server is like a telephone book so it has in in a telephone book or a telephone directory we have the names of the people and we have their phone numbers and we have such electronic directory in our smartphones also or in our a uh, button oriented phones also because it is difficult for people to remember the names of other people with reference to the phone numbers so we remember the people by their names not by their phone numbers so uh, in the routing tables what they do is they translate the domain name or the text that i type on it vu.edu.pk into a string of numbers which the routing table translates and of course there are many routing tables depending on different isps and there is a central registry where all of this is compiled together so whenever anywhere in the world people are typing the text the url of the site where they want to go and corresponding to that site is an ip address which we had discussed in the prior module internet protocol address so these registries translate convert that text into an ip address 
Now, what are mirror sites? Now, depending upon how much traffic is coming to a website, okay, there may be duplicate sites, mirror sites with duplicate data. Now, of course, it has its own issues of uh, uh, coherence, reading and writing, but we are not going into it right now. It's not in the domain of this module, right? So this is how it works. So I have these multiple sites and these are mirror sites. So what is a web page? Now web page is something which comes before you. Now contents of web page usually consist of text and within the text there can be images, it can be audio and there can be applets also. And it is the responsibility of the browser to interpret those web pages, to convert those web pages into something interesting or something which was desired to be shown on your screen. It also contains the formatting information. Now these web pages are generated by your client which is the browser and also by the application server which dynamically generates the web pages. Depending upon the query, it generates a page and it sends the page to you which is displayed on your screen. So what is a session? What is a transaction? Now when we connect, when my machine connects to the internet through a Wi-Fi connection, okay, then I am the person who is being billed for that Wi-Fi connection, right? And that connection between my machine, my phone and the internet is called as a session. That is a session. And a transaction is what happens between my web browser and the ISP and to the other ISP and to the web server or to the application server. So that is a transaction. That transaction contains all the information which is required to get the information, the formatting and everything to generate the web page before me. So what is a database connection? Now if you know what this is, we know this is, now what is this? In, in a database connection, maybe we need to log in. When we log in, we give the password, the, uh, the connection is made and back and forth things are being sent and that is not a session, that is a transaction, right? And stateless means that the relationship between the transactions is not stored anywhere. The transactions are considered independent of each other. That is what means that web is stateless. That's all I have for this module. Thank you very much.